Okay, well, just to reciprocate here with uh, with uh, Shake 73 there, I'm going to go ahead and give you a little tour of my toolbox. Well, at least one of them, anyhow. Um, so anyway, you know we talk about Dremel, and I have a, I have a quite a Dremel set. I um, I love my Dremel tool. I also bought some Dremel, Dremel, some Dremel um, uh, other tools like a saw and all that stuff. Anyway, so this is the um, these are my wrenches. Now the way I have this one here is that like this is a dividing point um, right in here, and then these are all metric, and those are all SAE. So um, it works out okay, mm, makes it happen. Uh, and I also noticed what I did was that I labeled my drawers for the first time with this new toolbox. That's kind of cool. This one here obviously says sockets, and uh, believe it or not, besides my um, little handheld craftsman sets and um, my one cobalt um, pass-through set that, that those are all of the sockets I have left um, <clears throat> many of them have disappeared over the years I don't know where they ended up but uh, yeah so anyway as you can see when it gets up to half inch I need to definitely do some work on getting some getting some uh, metrics in there and uh, <clears throat> need to get a big SA, uh, the big SAE, one and a quarter, I don't have that one. But uh, I got a lot of metrics on the 3.8 and almost nothing there. Um, how funny. <clears throat> in, the, uh, in the SAE. So that I find really strange. I don't know how that happened, why it happened, but it did. My measuring tools, okay, so this is... Um, this is where all of my, uh, whatever measuring I'm doing, you know, obviously it's, uh, I have a little bit of everything in here. Um, my calipers, I have a set of digital, I have the, the, my digital micrometers here. Oops, 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 right here. <clears throat> yeah, so it's the digital micrometer, um, two to three inch, which is good for journals and the, the like. Um, I have this dial caliper, and I have this, I think this one here should be my, oh yeah, digital, my, oh, this is a dial caliper as well, oh, oh goodness, I have, that's another dial caliper I have, obviously, mm -hmm. didn't even know that was here, and let's see here, what do we got here, oh, okay, that, now the interesting thing is that somewhere, I also own a <coughs> digital caliper. I don't know where it is. <laughs> it's gone. So anyway, that's something I got to look for. See, this is good. This is kind of makes you wonder where things are. Nut drivers. Okay. These are all just nut drivers. And like I'm kind of come to the conclusion that that uh, Shakes has, and that is that Crapsman is definitely garbage. Uh oh, I was looking for that. I thought I lost it. Okay, um, torque wrenches and timing lights. Now this is this is one. It's a Sears, I believe, or yeah, believe it's Sears timing light. And then I have <clears throat> this like like you have. I have the the uh, oh actually the my small engine ones is inch pounds foot pounds. And uh, <clears throat> and then I have the Crapsman. But uh, I like the click type. I like the ones actually from Harbor Freight. I have a uh, three eighths and a half. And then what I do is I also have a half inch that I keep in the Tahoe for um, for my my um, lug nuts on the trailer, and it works out really well. So I just keep it in the side side there. Uh, let's see here what we got here. Okay, miscellaneous. Um, okay, let's see. Here. I'm sorry about the light, but uh, oh yeah, that's my little stubby set. Uh, little stubby with a dual quarter inch three eighths drive. Um, yeah, it's from performance that performance tool. This is the vertical um, mount kit for my compressor, and you see how well it's it's doing there. Um, let's see here. What's this back here? Uh, oh, grip tight. That's the same Gary has. Yeah. Oh, these are different. These are those ones that uh, also grab on. Um, 
bad, you know, uh, rounded off nuts and that sort of thing. Because, uh, yeah, they grab on the sides. <clears throat> Grip tight. I saw that one. That's one of the ones they used to advertise on TV, and I, I couldn't resist. You know, I'm a sucker for tools like, like you are. There shakes. And these are my air tools. Um, yeah, the only thing I'm missing in here um, that I really want to get is uh, a quarter inch impact. <clears throat> I have the half inch impact here. And, uh, and then I also have the, the new one that you saw up here, the DeWalt, that <coughs> the TLC Bear talked me into getting. And let's see here. Okay, this is, uh, yeah, my, my miscellaneous drawer. This is one, like I said, my thread chasers. Um, I got two nut splitters. I didn't realize I, I already had one, and I bought one. I do that a lot. I have something, and I'll buy another one because I don't realize I have it. Uh... Oh, wow. Let me see here. Inline hose harbor freight. Okay. Inline spark checker. Uh, <clears throat> and, oh, just like, see? Like I said, we have a lot of the similar stuff. Sorry about the shaking around. That's me. The uh, gasket punches. Very similar to what, uh, to what Shakes has. And it goes same thing, three sixteenths up to one and a quarter. Pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> let me see. Ah, I think you know who talked me into that one. Who said it was important to have that? I think it was Paul Short. <clears throat> yeah, I think Paul's the one that talked me into getting that. He said you gotta have a punch set. So I already had um, some. I had uh, some really cheap set, but. Anyway, here's ratchet, needle nose, and wire cutters. Uh, I thought it was interesting how how Shakes has several ratchets. Um, he has rat ratchets in all kinds of different drawers. And I realize I have some in another drawer over there too, but um, I try to keep them all together. You know, these were these these um, cheap tricks. They're called sidewinders, so that, uh, you know, you can use the, the, the handle there. And uh, what you do, you know, it turns it. Let me see here. Maybe I'll show you. Oh. Yeah, let's see here. Get you guys set. Huh, there we go. All right. Yeah. So what you do is, you know, you you do it like this. Kind of nice for tight spaces when you can't really ratchet. But um, I find that I use it uh, never. Have a quarter inch one as well. Uh, this one's kind of because it's got a little, got the little handles you can grab it like that. But anyhow, yeah, another one's gimmicks. Um, I actually got those ones at a Kmart that was closing down, and they had uh, all that stuff on sale. Um, yeah, we've already talked about my plethora of vice grips. Um, uh, TLC Bear did did concede that I do have a bunch, so that was good. Like you said, he's the one who told me you can never have too many. Uh, channel locks. And, um, okay, let's see here. Lots of channel locks. Um, everyone's crashing with selling these things. What a piece of crap. Um, garbage. I mean, these, these things are just absolutely garbage. Uh, now, these cutters, these Craftsman Handy Cutters, I do like those. I like them. They cut... They cut through anything, you know, rope, hose, anything like that. It's really clean. Huh, let's see here. Okay, so brake tools. And yeah, see what you were talking about, about these. See, I also have that one. The same one that Gary has. The same one that Rod has. But this is the one that Rod won. And see that little tiny in there for the, for the small engine, um, for the small engine valves. It works out really, really nice. That's one that's eventually going to make its way back to Iowa and will be the the proud property of uh, of TLC Bear because I'm not going to work on any more small engines, so I really don't need it. Um, let's see here and down here. Okay, flywheel turner. Boy, I'll tell you what. I mean, I don't see much of these anymore. Remember these little clips for the the rocker arms when you have a, the valve covers off. Oil deflectors. It's kind of cool. There's my uh, ah, my OBD2. Um, 
Let's see what we got here. Another little. Oh yeah, so this was the other punch set that I had. This this one here from Harbor Freight, but uh, I like the other one. That's a little bit nicer, I think. Okay, garbage. You know, there's a little inductive tack. Um, yeah, a little inductive tack here for small engine work. Um, got two ring compressors, one for the big engine, one for small engine. Um, let's see here, lots of gear pullers. Uh, anyway, that's the kind of junk in there. That's this box, and like I said, this is a, that was the first one. Now, I also have this box. Now this was something I found, I was telling, telling TLC Bear, I found this, I didn't even know I had it. I mean, look at this. It's a Sun Pro inductive timing light. Looks like it was used once maybe. And uh, it's crazy, huh? This one here I got for 10 bucks from a guy who was selling off um, his car, car stuff, his tools. And um, he also had a complete engine analyzer, the uh, a Sears one that's out in my shed that you know checks checks the spark and the points and all that stuff neat 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 little uh little thing that i got for 25 bucks so for 35 bucks i got you know the sun pro timing light and that uh that engine analyzer okay this is the this one here is like uh just my my saw blades um this is for both my jigsaw and for my um um what's that thing called my rockwell um <clears throat> which I love that that new uh, blade runner that's it it's called a blade runner uh, so I love that thing it uh, it definitely does a great job of, of cutting through just about anything I've cut through steel tubing with it uh, okay this one here says staplers and staples and obviously there's a stamping set in there as well but uh, yeah that's mostly it I also have a pneumatic one for uh, for upholstery work or for doing um, <clears throat> uh, moldings and things like that. There's my screwdriver drawer, and again, you know, you, I guess you can't have too many screwdrivers, you know. And these ones here are the ones that Harbor Freight gives away, you know, with the free coupon. So I have two sets in here. I gave away a couple sets. Um, it's the same way with those the multimeters that they have. I think I have like about five or six of those, but uh, I'm not done getting them yet. I'm going to keep getting more. All right, so these are the little box things. This is kind of why I was asking, um, asking you shakes about why, how you mounted those to your wall. Because as you can see here, you know, I got all these different, um, most of these Makita sets. Yeah, that's better, huh? Yeah. What's this one here? Uh, there's a little rivet gun with some rivets. Uh, this is the one I was talking about that I have the same as yours. The uh, damaged nut extra extractor. Um, looks like yours is a little bit bigger than mine though. Huh. Yeah, because I don't have the... Uh, what does it say? Extru extra? Oh, extractor. But it says a number... I have three... Oh, I see what they did. They're trying to sell you more, another set. Anyway, so this is the set I have. Um, never used them, probably never will. Uh, Irwin, I have drill bits, screwdriver bits. Uh, look at these screwdriver bits. Never opened up. You know, you buy this stuff at Lowe's at Christmas time and it's really cheap. And then you wonder, what the heck am I going to do with that? You know? uh, look at that. Eight pack of the square drive. I mean, I have a travel trailer, but I mean, how many square drives do you need, right? Drill bits, uh, same exacto set, kind of that uh, that you have there, shakes. <clears throat> All right, uh, punch chisels. Ah, uh, there's my pneumatic stapler and uh, pulley. Uh, this is the and pulley and and puller and installer set for uh, you know power steering and uh, alternator pulleys um, yeah oh there's a transfer punch set 
Yeah, oh, yeah. No, that's not my transformation. That's just uh, the uh, drifts. So I probably have the same thing in this other kit. And then this one here is another one full of whatever and whatever. Um, I had this old, I don't know if I can, probably can't even get any media for that anymore, but old spark plug cleaner that uh, you hook on 12 volts and push the button. Um, kind of crazy. Uh, really cool. You see that brace? I don't know if you can see that brace down there. Bought that at an antique store for five bucks, and I thought that was pretty cool. Looking for that. See how that works out? Shakes, you end up finding things you didn't know you had or you were looking for. Uh, oh, that's an impact uh, screwdriver there. And uh, angle, yep, there's my angle adapter for my drill. An actual, that's a camera, a remote control camera. All right, let's see what we got down here. And the cases, now the cases, I got bunches of them. All right. So here is, oh, heavy. <laughs> oh, I know why, there's something on top. I had to have this when I replaced the um, window, window switch on my Pontiac. It was, it was um, riveted in. And uh, so I had to had to get that in order to uh, put it back in. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, looks like I'd call that screwdrivers, huh? More screwdrivers. Moss, moss screwdrivers. I don't know where those came from. <sighs> Who knows? All right, let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, my slobbering iron. <clears throat> Gotta have that. That comes in handy. I also have a little one up on the bench. Um, I know what that is. Uh, it's something the same thing that I think it's something you also have there, uh, Shakes. Yes, matter of fact, I think we have the same one, as a matter of fact. Mm, combustion leak tester. Another uh, purchase that I never used. I bought it when I thought my then I thought the head gasket was gone on my Pontiac before I realized it was the uh, upper intake manifold. <clears throat> Let's see here. Oh, Black and Decker. So this has got to be, oh, this is a bit set. You know, one of the ones, double sided, huge, full of, uh, you know, stuff that you're never going to use. Although, you know, it's kind of got some nice drill bits. It's got a double, two drill bit set. Um, it's got some nut drivers, Allen wrench. Let's see what's on the other side here. Uh, oh, that's kind of cool. All right. Yeah, see, I forgot I had this thing. Um, got some holes. Always oh, got some uh, screwdriver extensions. Those are kind of nice. I didn't know those were in there. See, I got to remember where all this stuff is and what it is. A bunch of torques. Square drive. Again, I got to buy have that whole box of square drive is beyond me because I'm never going to use that many square drive in a lifetime. But I figure, you know, someone after I'm gone will dig through this archives and wonder what the heck he was thinking. What do we got here? All right, ah, uh, this is my three-in-one service set for ball joints, universal joints, and truck brake, <laughs> truck brake anchor pins. Uh, yeah, that's, that's important. Uh oh, now I've done it. Gee whiz, it, that's it, it's broken. No, no, I'm just, just kidding. It's just a, I have a bunch of drills, drill motors, as you can see here, stuffed on the side and, and they, they fell over. It's not a big deal, I don't think. So anyhow, let me put these all back. That's on this side. And I realize I still have uh, another toolbox over here. It's amazing. Oh. Hang on, I'm going to shut this off for just a second so I can get these things back in there. Okay, I'm back. Alright, so on the other side, across the my large walkway from there, 
Um, I have this box. It's, it says Cronus. And uh, I had a couple of these. And I think that I uh, gave one to my son in law. They're nice for grabbing when you're working around the house because it's got a lot of stuff you're going to need working around the house. The only thing I wished it had, and which it doesn't, is uh, pliers or vice grip. Well, it has a, has a needle nose and the wire cutter, so I guess that's good enough. But yeah, Cronus. <laughs> have no idea where those are, but I'm sure that they're Chinese made. But uh, never heard of it. All right. My little mouse sander. What else is in here? Uh, there's my uh, my pass-through set. I love this one. This is the cobalt one I was talking about. <clears throat> and uh, I love it. It's got all three. It's got half, three-quarter, and, and uh, three-eighths. And uh, all the adapters in the world you'd want. And the nice part is that they're all pass through so it doesn't make a difference how long the stud or the bolt is, it'll take it off. That's kind of nice. My wife got me that for Christmas uh, last year. And Nikita, which is junk. I mean, it's not junk, but I mean, that's just a... Oh, that's an emergency uh, road kit for... This is just an emergency road kit for the truck. You know, it's got the triangles and gloves and j jumper cables. And uh, let's see what else, jumper cables, some pliers, some wire connectors, you know, just stuff for on the road emergencies. All right, whew, okay, now you've already seen these screwdrivers. And I have screwdrivers up here. And let's see here, there's those black, Gotta be like shakes gloves. And I know that uh, I sent some to uh, to TLC Bear, but as you can see, Bear, I got lots of them. <laughs> I may send you some more. Uh, yeah, these things here were some freebies. This one from Harbor Freight, and this one was from... Uh, uh, Tanga, I think. Yeah, they had freebie, um, freebie uh, uh, bowls that they gave me. All right, now it brings us over to here. Uh, now this is much more of a mess, but uh, so we'll go through part of this. There's the clutch, the new clutch for the the 57. I have a pantograph for my router, which I've <coughs> never used yet. Uh, heavy. Alright, in that box are the rear brakes for the 57, the rear uh, disc brakes. Alright, now this box has just my blade cutters, drill bits, Drill bits of plenty. Step drills. Gotta have your step drills. Extension. Um, Irwin borers. Very important auger bits. My masonry bits, all in one drawer. That was part of my cleanup. Okay, this one here. Um, it's kind of like. Okay, it's got PVC cutters. These are the cable. Uh, stuff my only pipe wrench uh, hole punch backer board cutter skill something <laughs> oh drill bits more and more drill bits gee whiz so like I said I could have a drill bit sale huh <clears throat> just on drill bits alone uh, two two hole saw kits um, my shizzles uh, corner braces, corner chisel, uh, squeak no more. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that. Squeak no more. If you have uh, <clears throat> um, wooden floors and they squeak, it's kind of cool. So what you do is you uh, you take this thing. It's called squeak no more, and. Uh,
Sorry about the shaking. Probably blurry. I know it's. I can't read it. Anyway, but you snap the heads off, and then it broke off below the surface. So uh, that's kind of cool. And down there's just all hammers, just all my hammers. Now, uh, shake. See, this is my. Um, there's my tankless. What I like about it is, you see, uh, the intake doesn't even go outside. It's just right here in the garage. Same exhaust. You can use PVC because it's that hot. Energy Star, and uh, yeah, it's rated pretty darn good, actually. Um, so it's got a good rating. Yeah. See, so that was the. That was the model, as I told you. So now, um, this is kind of cool. You see this this little, um, I don't know what you call it. Uh, I don't know what that, I can't even what the heck they call them. Anyhow, um, you know, a little platform. I got that thing at Lowe's on sale for um, 17 bucks. Seventeen dollars. Okay, this one here is a little Brad nailer. And what's cool is that I, I bought a um, I bought a uh, what do you call it? A uh, frame nailer, framing nailer, and they this thing came free with it. So I thought, oh, what the heck? You know, it's free. And uh, even though I have one, um, but this one looks like a pretty nice one, air locker. So it's a nice little Brad nailer. And I said the price was right, so what can I say, right? Uh, one of my Christmas presents. <sighs> Let's see here. I'm afraid to show you this side of the garage because it is. This is where the mess is, right? Anyway, um, keep my clamps up there. I have my skill saws there. Uh, all of my air. Um, my airline fittings and that and that are there. You know, my here's my there's my compressor. There, stuck in the corner. And then what I did was I kind of, I don't know if you can see here, how I plumbed it out. I came out of the tank and then went through. It's going through three, you know, dryer separators. One's with a regulator, and then it, uh, you know, it can attach to my hose reel, or I can flip a switch and it'll go to my piped in system that I put in up overhead so again it's half inch black pipe um, and I went I went up and across the ceiling up here all the way down and then I kind of cut across in the middle there I don't know if you can see that but then uh, and it ends up at that hose reel over there with the uh, airline hanging out of it so I can use my air tools that's 50 foot there uh, the one over here on the, the reel is a hundred foot so, but I like this one here because you know it's got the the recoil and it's much easier for taking it out in the garage, out in the driveway, and uh, uh, blowing up air, you know, the tires if I need to or whatnot. I also have, um, you know, the little the little portable air tanks. I have that one. There's two of them here actually. The other one's behind it over there. Anyway, I got two of those. So, okay, that's my my little drill press. Um, that's my my um, media blaster same one that uh, bear has that's my skill saw and then my band saw and my grinder so anyway I got all that stuff on this side which is kind of like the woodworking side now down underneath there is a whole bunch more uh, that's why I have a my MIG welder my arc welders down there and uh, but what I do is I really cheat and that's something I want to show shakes how I cheat I mean, I got really lazy, and I decided to go with these. Easy strike. Very nice, because I don't have to, um, and that's the big point right there. Yeah, I mean, they strike right off the bat. You don't have to do much with them, and you just, as soon as you touch it, it starts, 
it starts running which is really kind of nice so okay now I told you I had so down here I have three of these and I have all these different Dremel things I bought I haven't used them yet you know, I have so many tools I haven't used I have a um, this one right here is a three-in-one floor nailer for uh, hardwood floors that is a Milwaukee Milwaukee um, what do you call it plunge plunge router and uh, I also have my router table right here's a router table with a router hooked up to it so I have my my Dremel ma multi match you know these things here are kind of new stuff that they have and I really kind of liked it I had one of those um, those things from Harbor Freight and it didn't last long you know but uh, this one here is is really I really think it's nice I mean I, I turned it on held it and played with it and uh, I really like it I like it a lot so that's the Dremel and then the other one is the um, what the heck is it all right let's see what that Dremel one is no oh, it's called the trio all right the Dremel trio All right. So it looks like it will, uh, like a roto zip, uh, like a jigsaw you can use it with. Um, Yeah, it's pretty cool. Like I said, it's uh, I bought a bunch of these things, and oh yeah, and my table saw. This was actually covered up. This that's my my uh, my table saw here. So uh, yeah, lots of lots of garbage, you know, lots of garbage. But uh, yeah, anyway, so um, that's kind of cool. So I got that, and that's uh, you know, and then I don't even want to talk. About, I have uh, all my. In that cabinet, oops, down at that end, which I can't really open up right now. Um, but I will, actually, I'm going to open it up. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off for a second. I'm going to put these Dremel tools away, and I'm going to open the garage door and take a look in that cabinet for you. All right, hang on, I'll be back. Okay, and back on the tools. Um, this here is my um, miter miter saw. Ooh, creepers. I have a uh, tire mount kit. You know, for mounting tires, um, lots of crap, lots of crap. All right, so anyway, this is my cabinet, and this is where all of the chemicals are. And I have crap everywhere in here. <coughs> and this is another one of those I gotta clean out because, you know, how much stuff do you really need in here? You know, how much of this stuff am I ever really gonna use? I use some of it. Um, a lot of it, um, you know, I just have no idea uh, where it came from or how long I've had it. Uh, lots of stuff. Still got some latex gloves. And for that urethane that you were talking about, Shakes, for the windshield, um, yeah, that's the, that's the gun for those. Because I actually, I have a tube of that for, my, for putting the car back together again. And uh, let's see here. I have somewhere in here is my um, my double flaring kit for the for uh, lines. And uh, let's see here, Hitachi. This says Hitachi. Oh, wow. Oh, that's my finish nailer. That's that's a nice one. That's the one I really like. That's it's a beautiful finish nailer. Uh, very happy with that thing. I, you know, I said I had a remodel done, and part of the thing was, I told him in one of the couple of the rooms that I would put the trim back in, and uh, I went and got that thing, and man, was I a happy camper. I, that was one of the best things I ever bought. But yeah, there's a double flaring kit in here somewhere. Um, spider webs, uh, all kinds of carp. Let's see, what's it got here? What's this? 
Oh, a battery desulfonator. Okay, it's pretty good. I was trying to keep an eye on the battery. And uh, yeah, it went. But I don't think I missed anything. Um, like I said, you know, I tried to, these are all like cleaners down in here. And then uh, these are waxes. Um, my, oh yeah, I love this. And I got some, uh, so I'm sure this is our Chinese knockoffs. Um, clay bars. But, uh, yeah, it's like six of them. And I got them for like 35 bucks, which is a darn good deal. And, uh, anyhow. Uh, so, windshield wiper computer for the uh, blazer. My wife had a problem with, with the blazer a few years back where the wiper blades would stop. I mean, they'd run and then stop. And uh, so I did some research and found that that was the problem. And so I bought that and never had the problem again since. I haven't even put it in. It's still just sitting there. So uh, I want to buy more of these. I think, I'm not sure if that's what the guy uses over at, uh, at your shop there, uh, Shakes. But uh, I want to keep one of those on the 57 all the time as well. This is my trailer battery. It's a gel cell. And uh, yeah, for the price of those things, you don't want to mess with it. Let's see, here's another tool here. This is another, oh, it's another sander. It's a palm sander. Quarter sheet. Quarter sheet palm sander. So like I said, I've got lots and lots of tools. Um, there's my uh, serpentine belt tool. Pry bars. Uh, <clears throat> the bad part about the serpentine belt tool was it doesn't work on the Pontiac. And that's what I bought it for when I did the uh, upper take upper intake manifold so that was kind of a worthless purchase but uh, I did it so anyhow that's about the extent okay well we'll look up here now you see up here that is a craftsman um, cordless finish saw with a little tiny you know the little five inch finish saw and then there's my sawzall. I have a craftsman saw, craftsman sawzall down there, which is battery operated. My brother-in-law got for me. Um, mostly, pretty much garbage. Um, so that's why I got the got the one from Harbor Freight, because you know, for as little as we do, need to you need to have a a sawzall. You need to have it right now. And if my batteries aren't up on that uh, craftsman, then I, you know I'm pretty much out of luck. So. Anyhow, and now this is the this this cabinet here is full of um, you know the the yard guard the yard stuff you know chemicals and stuff like that my wife uses, so that's the cabinet. Once I get the shed, and I'll show you my shed here. You can see out the window. Ugh. Okay, that's shed number one, and then down there is shed number two, but they're both the same size. They're eight by six, and that one right there is the one that's full of car parts. And so once those car parts come in, then that this cabinet here and a bunch of these other tools and stuff are gonna, you know, stuff I don't ever use for except for once in a great while are gonna end up in that sh in that shed. So that's my plan, you know, the best laid plans um, are uh, well, however that goes, you know. So anyway, oh yeah, now I'm I'm also a uh, pretend painter, so I have a. Uh, that one right there, that little spray gun set, the HVLP uh, with the can, I want to use that one right there for uh, primer. And I have some Master Grip high pressure stuff that I, uh, that I got from um, Costco. Nice set, very nice set. Um, I'll use that for probably finished painting because uh, <clears throat> unless I buy an HVLP gun that I want to use for the finished coat. Um, <clears throat> Now, if we look over here, now there's a, I don't know if you can see it, let's see, right where that sunspot is, right behind that is a box, and that right in that box is a gallon of lacquer um, primer, two gallons of, of blue paint for the car here, of the turquoise, and one can of the white for the top, so a gallon. So, I mean, I got paint to paint this car probably about seven or eight times. Um, that wire right there I got for... Um, in the in the 57 here, you know, they, they have a spot in the back for a rear rear speaker, and they have the rear speaker up in front. Now I have a replacement radio that kind of looks that looks retro, but it's uh, up to date, you know, AM FM with the CD and all that crap. Anyway, uh, that will go in the spot where the radio is, and then where the speaker is up front here, they I have one of the, you know those dual the little um, 
six by nine stereo speakers. You know, there are two speakers in one. I have one for the front and one for the back. So that's going how I'm going to run it. And I do got that wire to run it to the back. So <clears throat> anyhow, um, my brush, the cl the engine cleaning set um, that I was talked to, not talked to. Uh, um, let's see. See, I, I just stick things everywhere. Here's a, uh, a McPherson Stut. A McPherson strut spring compressor. <sighs> Always something, huh? So anyway, um, and if we look over here, there's still more stuff down there. Uh, what is that? <laughs> oh, I have a, um, uh, you know, one of those lasers, uh, the tripod lasers for you putting up your cabinets in the kitchen. Yeah, I bought that. I'm going to do my kitchen remodel eventually someday. And uh, I want to use, want to use that. So, um, yeah. That's about, that's about the size of it. Anyhow, so as you can see, uh, tools, tools, tools aplenty. Um, I can't wait to see uh, Shakes' tools. And I can't wait to see uh Mach 1, 2004's tools. I want to see all those guys' tools. I think the toolbox tours are kind of cool. Alrighty, gents. So that's about the size of it. I'm going to go ahead and shut this thing off now and go in and put it up and see what you think so I can at least tell you, Shakes, yes, I did, in fact. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. Rod, look at that. The tumbler. Yes, sir. -y. Vibratory tumbler. Remember that? You went to Harbor Freight to get one? Okay. That's enough. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.